Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a haul video, and it's a collective haul. It's just some things that I've picked up, you know, over the past couple of weeks. So, um, I don't want this to be too long, so let's get into it. Um, first thing that I picked up was this um, Jurgen's all-purpose face cream. Now, um, what I do with this is that this is what I use to take off my makeup. And, um, I take it and I, you know, wipe it all over my face and then I take a cleansing cloth and wipe that off and it takes off my makeup and I use it for my eyes as well. Um, it says it's deep cleansing, softening and moisturizing and which it is so um, yeah this is good. You can find this at Walmart and I think it was like five something but yeah it's really good. Also, I um, purchased La Palette Nude 1 and La Palette Nude 2. Now, Nude 1 is like some warm, warm, you know, colors really really pretty neutrals and um, this is um, the deepest color this is brown this is the deepest color in there and that is how it's washed so it's a really, really pretty um, nude palette. And La Palette Nude 2 um, is more of a cooler palette. And that is what it looks like. You know, more purples, mauves, and, um, and those kind of pinky tones so yeah so it's really really pretty this is um the darkest color the purple that is in there and that's it you know swatched on my hands so it's they both are really really pretty um when I picked them up, number one was for light to medium, and number two was for medium to dark, if I, you know, remember correctly. So, but they're both pretty, so I bought both of them. Um, next, I purchased this um, Wet n Wild contour palette it's in caramel toffee and this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the product looks like on the inside um this looks really really light um, there were two, and I only found one. Um, they only had one available. But I don't, I don't know how the second one looks. But, um, so I don't know if it's darker than this or not. So, um, I don't, that's the contour shade. That's the contour shade. 
and it's not really showing up on my skin. It looks really, really light. So, um, and I guess this is the highlight. And that is it right there. So, I'm not really sure about this one. So, we'll see what it could be used as. Next, I purchased some um, highlighters from the Wet n Wild Berkey collection. I purchased um, Rose Champagne Glow. And that is what it looks like. And, um, come on. That is it. Swatched on my hand. So that's Rose Champagne Glow. And this one is Rose Golden Goddess. And that is what it looks like. It's pretty. And that's it swatched on my hand. So both of those are really, really pretty. Um, I also purchased um, some eyeliners and shadow sticks from Wet n Wild. One is in Champagne and the other, I don't remember the name of it. So, but, uh oh, here is what one of the shadow sticks look like. And that's it. Swatch. And on the other end is a black eyeliner. So. Uh-oh. It just fell apart. And this one is a champagne color. And that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like swatched. And it has um, a bronzy colored eyeliner. Now the other one um, was black, so I didn't um, swatch that. So next um, that I got, I got some eyeliners from Jordana. They're called um, Cat Eye Liner. I got it in Envy and Caribbean. And this is what they look like. That is Envy. And that is Caribbean. So they're really, you know, pretty colors. Um, also, I got, um, I went kind of ham on um, eyeliners. I got the Milani 
iTech Extreme in black is black. I got the Milani Liquid Eye um, in black. I got um, NYC High Definition Liquid Liner. I got um, NYC Liquid Liner in which I heard um, a lot about. So, um, let's see. I got um, a black opal eye pencil, um, which is really, really good. Um, I love this in my waterline. So, um, I also got a wet and wild mega last um eyeliner and this is in black is black it's not open i got a wet and wild fergie eyeliner in purple and that's what it looks like i also got um Black Radiance Eyeliner Eye Appear. Um, next, I got some um, lipsticks. I was able to find the last Milani Matte Lipstick that I was looking for. And this is in Matte Passion. And that is what it swatches like. It's a really pretty reddish orange color. Also, um, I got some uh, here some other Wet n Wild lipsticks. This one. Will You Be With Me? It's a really pinky nude. So. And that's what it swatches like. Um, this one is Black Orchid. And I remember Black Orchid being around some a long time ago. But it's this really pretty wine color. And that's what it looks like. Um, also, I got um, What's Up Doc, which is this really pretty orange color and that's what it swatches like I got just Gurnt just Garnet which is a really pretty reddish beautiful red color and I got ready to ready to swoon and this is really pretty shrimp color so and that's what it swatches like. So, I really like um, the lipsticks that I, you know, got from Wet n Wild. So, um, next, I picked up some things from Hard Candy. And I picked up this eye palette. Um, I 
okay, which is um, from their top 10 eyeshadow collection. This is Green with Envy. And that is what the colors look like. I'm going to swatch this cream right here. I think that's a pretty green. So. And the next is Raining Men. In which that's what it looks like. Really pretty colors. Yeah, you're not. That's one of the swatches, which is a really pretty color. Also, this eyeliner came with um, one of the palettes. It's a nice eyeliner. So, nice. And, let's see. I got this um, eyeliner pencil in hot tamale in which I thought it was a lip liner but it is an eyeliner pencil so and it comes with a sharpener so really pretty and I got um, this glitter called glitzy This is crazy. They got the security thing on the inside of the box. And that is what the glitter looks like. It's a really pretty green. And I got this, um, Baked bronzer in Tropics, and that is what it looks like. It's really pretty gold. And that is what it looks like. So, that's it for hard candy. Um, next to e.l.f. and I picked up some brushes from e.l.f. Um, I picked up this blending brush in which it's it's kind of stiff so it would be good for blending so um, it's thin on the side so you can get like in the crease area but yeah also I got um, this contouring brush in which um, it's really dense and short bristles 
and this one I used already. Um, it's really dense and it has um, short bristles so you can really get in there and carve out your um, contour. It's really good. Um, next I got the Eyebrow Duo and this you know, has the spoolie on one end and the angled brush on the other. The brush is very firm. It's very good for your eyebrows. So I have used it and I used it with my um, Anastasia Dip Brow. And it worked really, really good. So Elf has stepped up its game on its brushes. Um, the next one is Ultimate Blending Brush in which it's really soft and it's really dense and compact. Um, it really brought buffs the foundation in really, really well. So, um, I really, really like um, this brush. Um, the next brush that I picked up was the Ultimate Kabuki brush and it's a multi-use multi brush for blending, highlighting, contouring, and stippling. This is what the brush looks like. Um, it's really, really dense. It's really soft. Um, I can see for, you know, going around the perimeter of your face and um, making and buffing in, you know, your bronzer and your contour. So, yeah. So, it's a little thick to contour in your, in your jawline. It's really thick, so I wouldn't recommend it for that, but who knows. So, um... Next, I purchased um, the Hydrating Eye Primer from e.l.f. and it comes in a little tube like this and it's really, really creamy and it's light. Um, it does help with the fine lines under your eyes. Um, I found that it also helps with um, the deeper lines that you might have, like I have under my eyes. So this is really, really good. So um, Also, the HD Lifting Concealer, I got it in light. Um, I usually use the um, one called Brightening, which is, you know, gives a really bright highlight if you use it under your eyes. But also they have one to use under the eyes, but I like this as an under eye concealer for my under eye highlight. So, um... It does increase and it doesn't settle into your lines. This is what light looks like. So, um, next I got um, the moisturizing foundation stick. <coughs> And I got it in the color Almond. And this is what it looks like. And I should have got the darker one. 
there was one darker than this and which I should have got because I really bought it um, to contour with so I really should have got the one that was darker than this so we'll work it out um, next I purchased um, some blushes um, this one in Mellow Mauve and that's what it looks like it's a pretty mauve color this one this one right here And Berry Mary, Mary Berry, I'm sorry. And that's what it looks like. It's another um, mauve color. Uh, this one is in Tickle Pink. And that is what it looks like. It's really light pink. Which is not going to show up on me. So. Um, this one is in Candid Coral. Which that's what it looks like. It's like a more peachy color. This was in Peachy King, which is another um, peachy color. So, I don't know if that's going to show up on me either, but we'll work it out. And the last one is... Blushing Rose. Print is so fine. And that is what it looks like. It's another pinky mauve color. So that is all for e.l.f. Um, now, um, it's what I purchased from um, Mac. So, I purchased, um, the Mineral Life Skin Finish in Global Glow. And that's what it looks like. And that is what its watch is like. It's pretty close to the hard candy that I picked up. So, um, next is Mineral Life Skin Finish and Light Scapade. And that is what it looks like. And that is what a swatch is like. So it's a really pretty color. Um, next, I purchased um, this brow gel. In clear. Um, also, I purchased this highlighter pen in um, 
light boost. That is what the color looks like. Like that. So Also, I purchased um, some lip products. Now, I if you looked at my other videos or one of my other videos, I don't remember which one, I told you that I do not like matte lipsticks. But I had to have these. These are matte but they're not a drying mat so they're really creamy so um, this is candy yum yum and that is what candy yum yum looks like and the other one is heroin and this is what it looks like and that is what it looks like swatched now to be totally honest with you if you're looking for a dupe for these colors um the milani matte lipsticks and um matte glam and matte orchid those are dupes for candy yum yum and heroin so i didn't you know realize it or know it until i got it home and i looked at them like these colors are so similar yeah but those are dupes for it they're spot on I also got this um, MAC 195 brush, which is a concealer brush. Couldn't find a good concealer brush, so I had to break down and buy that one. I also got um, lip pencils. This is Heroin. And it's just like the lipstick. This is Candy Yum Yum, just like the lipstick right there, and um, Boldly Bare. I purchased Oak, but Oak wasn't working out for me, so this will work out for me with my nude lipsticks and coming to the home stretch um i got the mac eyeshadow palette in warm and that is what it looks like. And there are some really pretty warm colors. Now, um, this was a great deal because if you purchase, you get 15 eyeshadows, full size eyeshadows for 50, for, for $85. Now, normally, max full-size eyeshadows go for um, $16 if you buy them in in the um, little case, and $10 if you just buy the pan. So, $85 was a really good deal for these shadows. So, um, I couldn't pass them up. 
So I got the warm tone palette and I got the cool tone palette. So these are some really, really pretty eyeshadows. So if you have been sleeping on me, get them because they're a good deal. So that is it for my haul video. I thank you for staying all the way through. <laughs> I thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video and spend time with me. As well as if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them below. I welcome all comments and suggestions and questions. I welcome them all. So, um, yeah. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. It will let you know when I do upload um, videos and kind of keep us in contact with one another. So, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So, I would really appreciate it. So, I thank you once again for your time. And I thank you for watching this video. And I will talk to you in the next video. So, I will see you soon. Bye.